everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo laptop. This is a Lenovo gaming laptop which is the exact model is an a Lenovo LOQ which is right over here. The full number model is right at the bottom. It will tell you the model name which is an LOQ space 16 APH8. And this is 2023 model and in this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can increase the RAM or remove the RAM for your laptop. This one they get shipped out with a 16 gig RAM. I'm pretty sure it has a 208 gig RAM in there. So what we're going to do here is to open it up and show it to you guys how to remove those two RAMs or how to can switch them or upgrade them. I made a really short video how you can find out, find out your maximum RAM capacity. I'll leave that link in the video description. It's just really 30 seconds and then you know for you exact, this is Ryzen 7 thousand series ryzen 5 you might have a different cpu so check that link to know your maximum ram capacity we have upgraded it and this models back in a few weeks ago to i think 232 gig 64 gig with no problem these are ddr5 rams so in this video we're just going to cover up how to get to those rams so first thing first you want to power off the laptop completely and we're going to grab ourselves a few tools tool number one a workshop towel. You don't want to scratch on top, so you want to put a towel underneath of the workshop towel. And next, I'll rotate. Next thing down here, we're gonna see a whole bunch of screws. There is no hidden. There is a hidden screw, so I'll I'll say it. there is a few screws here. There are two types of screw: longer screws and short screws. So we're gonna grab ourselves the screwdriver set. We're gonna be using iFix screwdriver set. We are gonna grab the Phillips number one. I believe, yeah, Phillips number one. And for the opening tool, I recommend you guys to grab a metallic guitar picks. These are really suitable to opening cases and covers. So with these two on hand, we're gonna get started. So first, let's remove the short screws. Those are the four screws in the front end of the laptop. So remove those screws and keep them in a one pile so you don't mix them with the other ones. Next, we're gonna remove the two side ones and two back and two mid back. These are all the long screws. So go ahead and remove all of them and keep them in a separate pile. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps out more ways to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the commentary. I appreciate that. All right. Now that we removed Oh, I see there's a tiny battery. I don't know what is this for. Oh, this is for a webcam. We can turn off the webcam from here. Nice. Anyway, so once you remove all the screws, but there's like two hidden, three hidden screws still. First, we need to remove the back grill cover, which is this one over here. We need to remove this one. You simply think that you can just slide it out like this, but you can't. What you need to do is to put this opening tool right in there. And with a little bit of push, you want to pull it at the same time, gently, and lift it up. Just push it down, pretty much, you're doing tiny lift over here. Once you did that one right there, you want to go back all the way here. You want to use this plastic rubber leg as a leverage, push, and push back. Let me see if I can do it with the other hand. I'm trying to show them the camera at the same time. So push down, and there we go. I think I put that one down with my elbow. So there we go. Now you don't want to pull it up one way, you want to bring it always straight backward. So bring it like that and put it down. Now there's another three screws, one on each corner and one right in the middle. So go ahead and remove these screws. These screws are the same screws as the rest that you removed. These are the longest screws. There we go. Now that you remove these two screws, you can grab from the middle here and you can just lift up the cover gently, just work up, down like this, wiggle around, and it will release just. You're gonna hear big click sounds. Those are the grips that are getting loose on the corners. That's fine. And there's a tiny metal bracket in here that grabs it from these hooks. So that's the big pop sound that you hear. All right, we're gonna put this cover to one side. And down here, we're gonna You see the two big fans, the heat pipes, everything right there, the small battery. I think they should have a bigger battery for here, but there's a space, enough space, so they might find a bigger battery that 
3,700 milliamp, there should be a bigger one. Anyway, but we're gonna focus on the RAM. The RAMs are under this cover. Before we remove this one, you can do remove the RAM, the cover, everything carefully without damaging, um, because you don't wanna touch with this metal cover, the capacitors and stuff around. To be really cautious, what I recommend you guys to put a plastic spatula at the back of this cable, lift it up a little bit, and you wanna put your fingers on the side of this uh, jack right here. I'll try to show you one right in here and right in here, right on the side here with your nail, and you want to pull them back towards yourself gently. You want to slide them out and grab the cables and pull the jack out. This jack has to go straight in, straight out. Do not go sideways, any, anything like that. Otherwise, you're gonna shorten the board. All right. Once we remove that one, now we can simply start working on the RAM cover here. So. We could remove this plastic and come I mean, in this label here and put it nicely in the place right there. All right. So you can see in here they give you a little space in here. So what you want to do, you want to lift it up from here. And while you're lifting up, lift it up from the bottom here. Just go ahead and lift it up, bring it up a little bit. You don't want to let, uh, break this. Captain tape or gaffer's tape here. Just leave it. There's no need to, but if you break it, that's fine too. Once you do that, the RAMs are exposed right in here. All right. As you can see, there's an 8 gig uh, DDR5, 5600, and these ones are, they should be the same. Now, to remove the RAMs, all you need to do is to put your fingers on the side of the triggers and pull them away from each other, and the RAM will pop out in 45 degree angle. Next, you want the same thing here. 45, they are out in 45 degree angle. Now, all you need to do is to grab it in a 45 degree angle and slide it backward. You do not want to yank it upward toward the ceiling, otherwise you're going to break the dim on the ramp. Just slide it backward. Same thing with the other one. Bring it out. You can see it's a DDR5, DDR5, slot one, slot two. First you want to fill up slot one, and then you want to fill up slot two. Now you can, you see this, they have the same label, doesn't matter the chip orientation, anything like that. So one can face up, one can face down, as long as the notch on the RAM right here matches the notch right on the DIMM. So if I try to put it in, in 45 degree inside the jack, the other way around, it's not gonna go through because the notch don't match. So you wanna flip it over, make sure the notch matches, bring it down in 45 inside the jack, make sure it's all the way in, and then simply you want to push it towards the motherboard and you're going to hear these two triggers open and close softly. You don't want to put enough too much pressure. But if you put it, let's say I'll put this one halfway through, not all the way through, and I try to push it down, simply it's not going to go through. I can break the RAM on the motherboard, but this thing will not go through. You have to make sure it goes all the way in, pinch it all the way in 45 degree angle, and then simply push it towards the motherboard and you're going to hit those soft triggers. All right, once you're done with that, there's a thermal pads in here to cool down the RAMs. That's a nice thing, but I don't see this pad touching it. It's like a really not, I can see only few components are touching, but the whole thing is not even touching it. This one, maybe the label is imprinted, so that is touching, but this one, I don't see this side touching it. But anyway, you can grab a thicker thermal pad. These are a, one millimeter, grab a two millimeter thermal pads and you can place it right in there. After once you're done with that, you want to make sure in the corner there's a these grips in here on this side and this side, the tiny grips that grab from the side of this bracket. Align it first. Once you align this corner, the rest should be aligned automatically. Just push it down. You're gonna hit those nice soft clip. And once you have it that one in there, all you want to do, you want to bring the connector for the battery. Align it in front of the jack and then simply pinch them together and it will go to its place. All right, so this is just a demonstration. You can put a 16 gig and 16 gig for 32 gig, or you can put a 32, 32. You can put whatever combination you can uh, you have, depending on your CPU. Check the video again in my video description to know the max capacity. I recommend you 16 and 16 for 32 gig. That's more than enough for any game, any video editing, anything else. So don't go over here because you're not gonna get extra performance. Right, once you're done with that, all you need to do is to grab the bottom cover, bring it over, set it down. You wanna push the corners. You wanna hear those nice big click sounds all the way all around in the middle. 
press, you want that clip in the middle, hook in the side, nice click sounds. And first you want to put the three screws on the bottom here, one in the corner, and one right in the middle, one all the way back to the left. Now, you don't want to put anything else because this one has a tiny hook here. They have to go. First, you want to put the grill back on. It slides it in. It snaps in. And now you can put the long screws from mid all the way to the back, the short ones in the front. And now, regarding the RAM, once you put the RAM in, you don't have to put the cover into power on to see if it's working. Just flip it over, turn it, power it on, and wait 15 seconds. And if it, it might do a mem check, so it might take 15 or even 20 seconds. I heard some, for some people, it took up to 30 seconds sometimes, depending what type, what brand RAM you put in. That's just for the initial mem check. So after 15 seconds, it's just gonna boot up all normally. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna put up the bottom screws.